The breakup of the Soviet Union in the early 1990s created a major economic crisis in Cuba, known as the Special Period. So we have, from 1989 to 1993, a free fall of the economy to of 34% of GDP, gross domestic product. When I tell you free fall of the economy, trying to imagine an airplane suddenly lose their engines. It was really a crash. Cuba lost 80% of its export and import markets. Oil imports dropped by more than half. Buses stopped running, factories closed. Electricity blackouts were common, and food was scarce. People almost starved. Over the next decade, Cuba took drastic steps to find solutions. It is the first country to face the crisis that we will all face, the peak oil crisis. There will always be oil in the ground, that's good news. Always be oil in the ground, forever. Why? Because an oil field is deemed dry when it takes more oil to get a barrel of oil out of the ground than you get from burning it. We'll find that oil production is sort of reaching a peak sometime in the next few years and will be going down, and that implies basically a major change in our way of life. And what we've discovered is that Cuba, because their own artificial peak oil was imposed on them when the Soviet Union collapsed, is actually a model for what's going to take place in the rest of the world. So we wanted to see if we can capture what is it in the Cuban people and the Cuban culture that allowed to go, uh, go through this very difficult time without competing over scarce resources. And we think Cuba has a lot to show the world about how to deal with energy adversity, which I think we'll all be facing.